Greetings from the past, fellow time travelers. I'm Sporkinator. Welcome back to Donkey Kong 64. I'm in the process of collecting purple bananas in Creepy Castle. But we will be coming back to do something with Diddy Kong. I mean, I guess I could do this now because there's a tag barrel here, so... I guess I'll try to hang loose and let my non-existent plans change whenever such a thing is necessary. Yeah, good thing I visited Cranky Kong and got the red slam, otherwise I wouldn't be able to hit this switch. So, anyway. Ooh, super creepy vibe in this place. You can hear, like, evil laughter or whatever in the background. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, 30 oranges. That's my max. Okay. Checkered pattern floor. Then I shan't leave this place until I get at least one golden banana. Well, the KKK is here as well. Let's take him out. We can't have these racists around here. And this is a game for kids? Get real, man! And of course, we have to stop the skeleton war. So what do? <gasps> oh, thing! Cool, I was supposed to kill them. That's always nice. Oh, it's the candle, the candle thing again. We first encountered this in uh, Crystal Caves. Well, this is kind of a repeat of that, I guess. Just as long as there's no stupid time limit, that would just stress me the heck out. Holy crap. Well, I guess I'm already maxed on DK film, so without further ado... Fly, Diddy, fly! The fate of your island depends on it. How am I not in the barrel? Okay, there we go. Why do I always have trouble with that? I will never quite understand. Okay, that candle's lit. To the next one. We're getting bananas at the same time. It's like, this, it's the same as Creepy Castle. Or not Creepy Castle, Crystal Caves. We're in Creepy Castle, man. Get your crap together, Spork. Anyway. Another set of bananas and another candle lit. Are we done? <gasps> Tiny's pad is in here. How does Tiny even get in here? Is that possible? Okay, where's the bonus barrel? That's how I'm gonna get my banana. Oh, there's a balloon here. Ha! <laughs> One shot, baby! In the air! Oh, that's air snipe right there. Okay, what horrors await us in here? Oh, it's Minecart Mayhem! It's my favorite minigame again! It's the best one ever! Yeah, simple enough. I know how to play this. Is there only one? Okay, there's two. So I switch. I wait patiently to see what, what decisions they're gonna make. They're switching. So now I wanna speed up a little bit. Switch to the outside, just barely passing them by. That one guy's staying on the inside. I have to go really fast this time. I need to pass this point here. I need to get them both to switch to the outside. Come on, switch. There we go. Now I want to switch to the inside once again. And if I do this correctly, I can switch to the outside. See, it's just as simple as that. I just keep baiting them. Oh, they're, they're going further inside now. Why are they doing that? That's freaking weird. Oh no, I screwed it up. <laughs> Okay, this one is actually legit difficult, but this is still my favorite minigame, so we're gonna try this once again from the top. I like how we're over lava. The lava isn't even a threat, it's the TNT cars that are the real threat here. So I think the beginning of my strategy was pretty good. Go to the inside. One of them starts out on the inside, though. That makes things tricky. Now I gotta go to the outside real fast. There we go. Um. Okay, I have to switch to the inside now to avoid that one, but then I hit this one. What did I do different this time? Wow. Was I just lucky the last time I played this, or is this actually that difficult? Yeah, I'm not timing my speed correctly, because I did better the first time. All right, once again from the top. 60, 59, 58, 57. Switch to the inside. What happens if I switch again and go super inside? What if I just switch at every opportunity? I'm basically, at this point, I'm throwing strategy out the window and just trying to cheese it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Fudge. This is harder than I remember it being. I used to never have trouble with minecart mayhem. Like, seriously, this is a... At least I thought this minigame was easy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my entire life is a lie. I don't know, but we have to go to the inside here. That much is certain. And we have to go back to the outside up here. Speed up, Diddy, don't slow down. Okay, he's going outside. So that gives me an excuse to switch to the inside, to dodge him. Okay, I got past that guy. Switch, switch, switch. Okay, he switches, I'm going outside here. 35, 34. Okay, so what are they doing? I have to switch to the inside here. Stay outside, pass that guy up. Oh no! Wow, I do not remember how to beat this one. Well, brace yourselves for try number four or five now, holy crap. I thought I liked this minigame. Was I wrong? I thought this was a simple minigame. Maybe it's not as simple as I thought. I mean, I could just stay on the inside until they threaten to come for me, I guess. Oh, I see. He comes to the inside right there. And then I'm screwed. I should have switched. Yeah, I think the problem here is that these TNT cards are not nearly as predictable as the other two I had the last time I played this minigame in another level. 
Well, wish me luck. I'm having trouble with something I, that I thought would be a non-issue. Oh well. Don't know how much of these failures I'll have to cut out. Do 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 do. Guess I'm supposed to go real fast here. Because that gets me past them. I want them both to switch to the outside. Well, can they both do that for me? Okay. Oh, the arena's set up differently. Oh, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Oh, I was supposed to switch to the outside and it didn't happen. For some reason, I pressed the control stick too late. Yeah, because I thought that if I could get both TNT carts on the outside, that I could then get them to keep to stay in sync with each other and always be on the same level, and I could just keep on switching to avoid them. But maybe that's just not how this works. I don't know, man. Yeah, go to the inside. And then speed up and switch to the outside before he gets there. And then go around here and pass up this junction fast as possible. And then slow down if you need to delay. Yeah, might as well just go slow here. Convince the TNT cards that I'm on the outside so they switch to the outside if they want to get me. And then they're on the outside now, so I go inside. And now they're going to come inside. Both of them. And then I go outside. I don't know why they're... I don't know why they're going... They're, they're not following each other. That's the tricky part right there. Huh. Checkmate. Yeah, this one is pretty simple, but then at the end they split off. That's where they get you. Well, I don't know what to do later on, but I can keep repeating the beginning again because I know what to do in the beginning to get the timer down to 10 or 11 seconds. Good lord. They're not as predictable as I thought they should be. That's the issue here. They're not behaving the way I want them to. So that's interesting. That's really interesting. They actually have, like, pseudo-AI or something. That's insane, man. Because at first they're following each other and they're basically being stupid. But then later it gets really tricky. So they're both going to switch to the inside. This is what they always do. So then I go outside, and quite naturally... And see, uh, let's see, where, where do they split off at? Yeah, that guy is not doing what I expected him to do. 11, 10, 9, and I hit this guy. Huh. This one is very puzzling. My inside-outside, inside-outside out, tr trick is not going to work forever. At some point, I have to go down to the middle. I think that's how this works. So I don't know how much of this I'll cut. A lot of this is actually very informative so far, so... I may just keep it all. I'm not even sure, man. Oh, no, I didn't want to go... Whatever. I'll use a different strategy this time. I'll go inside, then I'll go outside again, and I'll speed up. And I'll somehow not hit them. Well, that didn't work at all. See, I had no idea what I was doing there. Won't even lie. Welcome to, bonus stage. Welcome to bonus stage! Welcome to the end of your life. And I promise it's going to hurt. Oh, man. Inside. This will last us a certain amount of time before it fails. So it is worth doing, at least the first time. Speed up here. Gotta get past that junction so that they don't hit me. And right here I can just slow down and plot my next move as I see what they're doing. Because they both go outside. And they're right behind each other now. Okay. So now I'm going to swap inside and go nice and slow. And I think I'm supposed to switch back to the outside. But that guy went further inside. That's the tricky thing. And now where's he going? Oh, I'm not going to hit him. I'm having trouble visualizing this for some reason. Oh, I should have just gone outside just now. That's it right there. I've got it. I've got this in the bag. I just need to repeat it one more time. I think, assuming I don't forget what I did and screw up. Okay, from the top, here we go once again. This is actually kind of fun, even though I'm, I'm failing on it. Alright, so, approaching the outside once again. Oh man, tell you what. Actually, I don't have to speed up at this part. They do the thing either way. Yeah, so then I switch to the, the inside. And they're gonna switch inside. And I'm gonna switch outside one more time, I think. Yeah, that's safe. It's a safe bet. Maybe if I just keep, keep going really slow. He's switching to the outside. And... Huh, what did I do wrong? I, I forgot what I did last time. Wow. Not sure what's going on here. To bonus day. I'll eventually get it. It's all good. Yeah, I thought this was my favorite minigame, but now it's really costing me some time. Don't know what I'm going to do about this. Huh. Maybe the idea was to not speed up or slow down. Maybe that throws things off. Okay, so around the outside here, it's fine. And they're both still following each other. I need to pay attention to the part where they desync. Because at some point they desync and that throws things off. I'll try going inside here. And I'll stay on the inside, because they're coming back inside, I guess. Now I'm on the super inside. And they're, he's going to come super inside, so I have to switch to, out, to outside now. And then I'm going here... And I'm avoiding them completely. And now I'm on the outside and they don't stand a chance. So right there, folks, is the winning strategy. This is the full run that I'm definitely keeping when I edit this in post later. Two, one, and zero. Goal achieved after I don't even know how many tries. That had to be at least ten tries.
That was pretty ridiculous, but I got it. We're finally done with that. And the timer has not yet reached 20 minutes, and even then it's unreliable if I'm gonna edit any of that out. But yeah, can I get Tiny in here? I wanna see if I can. But the question is, does the door shut when I exit this place or not? Because it seems like I can't go anywhere else with Diddy, so I have to literally just walk all the way back through these hallways. Which is strange to me that they make it do all this, but I guess that's fine. Because there's like a tag barrel right by this, right? Does the door shut when I get in the tag barrel? Alright, Tiny, go for it. Aha! They do let you go in here as Tiny. Alright then! <laughs> Works for me, baby. Because now I can get to Tiny's monkey port and teleport somewhere else. Good lord, camera! Alright. The camera finally fixed itself. Get these coins and some bananas and teleport. Oh, they gave us a transition for that one. Holy crap, am I already finding the second banana fairy of this level? The second and final banana fairy? Yeah. That's it right here. If I can just take a picture of it, that would be fantastic. That thing's really jerking around like crazy. Wow. Banana fairies are such trolls, man. Huh! Ho! Oh, gotcha! Good to go. Well, now I don't have to hunt any more banana fairies, and I already got the battle crown, so the only things left to get are, obviously, I guess, banana medals, which I don't need, and, of course, the bananas themselves. And this is a clearly a different pad, so let's see where this takes us. Well, it took us to some more bananas. Why do I have 46? Oh, that's because I... Darn it, Tiny, I was trying to get out my gun. Good lord. Because there's a balloon up here, and I want it. Perfect. That will work. The only question is, why is this here, and does it do anything? I can't honestly remember. Probably not. I'm guessing it's just for looks? Huh, well, there's probably a thing to do back over there, because that's where the other end of this thing is. And there is, like, a teeny tiny little entrance there to go in there and do a thing. Now the only question is, where is the shrinking barrel? Okay, it's up here. Perfect. And is there anything up here, or is this just... okay. Tiny, can you please become teeny tiny? I legit cannot remember what's down here, so we're about to find out together! In we go! Wait, what? We're back in Frantic Factory? This doesn't make any darn sense! Hey, Tiny, it's me again. I've managed to get hold of another shiny banana. But if you can beat me in another two-lap race and get ten coins, it's all yours. Press Z to speed up, use the control stick to steer. Ready? Here we go. Oh, man, I hope this doesn't end up being a total pain. Good lord. Okay, how, how good is the handling on this car? Oh, it's pretty crappy. Oh man. As long as I don't miss too, too many gates and I get 10 coins, and I somehow get ahead of them at some point, I should be fun. And I don't do that. Gotta not do that, man. It's no good. Dun dun. Oh, did that count? I got that gate? Okay, whatever, if you say so! My goodness. Oh. I think I hate this race more than the other one. The one that we had, the last time we raced this guy in Frantic Factory, I think that was actually easier. I just need 10 coins. Okay, this is, this is the final lap. So I need one more coin, and I need to pass this guy up somehow. And I can't cheat like I could in the other race. So what do? I'm gonna have to take this turn really sharp. Because I forgot I could hold R to do a sharp turn. Oh man, why am I not passing this guy? I'm going max speed, right? And there's not a button I can press to cheat? Makes me wonder, how do you actually beat this guy? Holy crap. Like, are you supposed to cheese this by missing gates right at the end or something? How do you get ahead of him? How do you beat him? I mean, okay, I'm willing to do this again, but seriously, how do I pass him up? Hey, Tiny. Come on, that's too easy. You will not be winning anything today if that's the best you can do. That better not be the best I can do, I tell you what, otherwise I'm screwed. I gotta focus on getting ahead of him, I guess. I don't know. And I need to not hit those boxes. Maybe that's what slowed me down. And those turns are too wide. I need to turn sharper with the R button, I guess. Or, or whatever this button is. Yeah, it's the R button. No, Tiny! Oh my gosh! I wanna restart this. Can I restart this right now? Oh, come on! This will never do. This will never do. Funny thing is, on the next lap, those coins won't be there, so I should really start cutting corners as much as I can. Yeah, I need to stay on the inside or something. I don't even know. I 
and not hit the, the boxes come back nice very nice indeed yeah I must not be racing properly or something because I'm really not passing them up like I need to be okay I've got enough coins I just need to cheese this by skipping gates or something I'm not even sure there we go I'm ahead of him <laughs> that's the way you do it I guess Ooh, do I win <laughs> that was a close one we're good, right? We're good. Sob. It's not fair. You can't have beat me and got enough coins. I suppose you'll be wanting my only possession now. <laughs> oh, don't be so sad, car. Cars don't eat bananas. Well, thanks for the golden shiny thing. I'm off to never see you again. Bye. <laughs> Poor car. He's all sad. Well, I guess that's tiny go Tiny's golden banana for this area. Good lord. What do I do now? There's gotta be a way to go back. Do, do, do. Another transition and I guess we're back here. I guess that's all there was. I mean, I'd like to think that this game is more complicated, but it's not, it's actually quite simple. You never really find two golden bananas in one area, so there's no point to keep on exploring. I guess that's what, uh, it's kind of where this game falls short a little bit. The exploration is, uh, I guess it's pretty good, but shoot, man, it's just kind of simple. Well, I guess I'll continue heading up the castle. There's more bananas to be had. That was a tricky jump. Oh, I have to float across here to get that. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> where am I going to land now? I can use the warps to get to where I was, though. It's not going to be too bad of a trip. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't really kill myself, but practically killed myself just trying to get a banana. So we're back up at Cranky's lab, but how far back is that from where we were? That's kind of further back than I thought it would be. But whatever, we'll kill the KKK again. And try to get back up to where I was. And we're hitting 20 minutes on the timer, but... There's a lot of fails in that minecart thing, and then there's also that race, so... Maybe I'll make this a 25 minute video or something, I'm never sure when to stop. Oh, I should have taken the four warp. That was actually where I was, kind of. Yeah, there's Diddy's switch. Okay, we're back to where I was before I fell. This time I don't have to worry about any stupid bananas. I can just fly all the way across, probably. Or do that. That works, too. I'm not that picky. Library. But there, we have to open that up before we can go in it. There's, I think there's a switch that controls that. It's probably another one of Diddy's switches, or it could be Donkey Kong's switch. I honestly don't remember. Oh, yep, there's Donkey Kong's switch for the thing. So we'll probably be exploring that later on. Skeleton War! Tiny versus skeleton. Tiny one, skeleton zero. Wow, we're already hitting 70 bananas, and that doesn't even include the ones that I collected with Donkey Kong. Look at that! Banana metal with zero effort! That's probably why I didn't get the rare war coin until this level my first time through. Wow, I reached the top of the castle and got the last warp. Now we can warp to the top of the castle anytime we want. That's fantastic, man. Oh man, I tell you what. I never found Funky Kong, though. Or am I still looking for Funky Kong? Where is Funky Kong in this level? I don't even- oh, I know where he is. He's in a cave somewhere. Like, literally, like- well, not a cave, but he's, like, inside one of the castle areas. So, I don't know where I need to go to find him. But I think what I'll do, now that I have the five warp, I can come up here any time, right? So, I'm gonna warp back down to the bottom of the level and try to start exploring caves to locate Funky Kong. Because, see, down there might be how you find him. I'm not even sure. So I'll hop right in here and see what we've got. Oh no, green bananas. Is there a tag barrel? Please tell me there's a tag barrel. I'm gonna have to come back for these bananas. And the blueprint. Tag barrel, please. Seriously, where is tag? Well, we found Candy Kong. Does she have anything to offer us? Let's find that out real quick here. Upgrade instrument. Just some stupid upgrade. No more melons, of course. Because the third melon was her last one. Yep, more instrument energy, more maximum. And I have all I have everything from Candy Kong now, and I guess I didn't bother to read her dialogue. It might have been different, but whatever. I'm too preoccupied with accomplishing my objective, man. I don't have time for idle chat. Alright, coins, because no reason. And I don't want to skip these, so. Well, here's uh Chunky Kong's blueprint. This Casplat's gonna die soon. I said, this Casplat is going to die soon. There we go. Out cold. 
just the way I like it. So we found Candy Kong, but I'm sure Funky has got to be around here somewhere, too. So that's what, like, nine green bananas I've got with Chunky now? Is there more if I continue this way? Yeah, I guess I'll keep going for a little longer here. I know there's going to be a lot to edit out of the minecart thing. Or fast forward. Sometimes I don't edit things out, I just fast forward it to make the video shorter. So you can also see the pain and trouble I went through, because that's part of what a Let's Play is all about, after all. Can't edit everything out. I kind of wanted to go through that other door, but the green bananas are leading me this way. And that's why this level is so intuitive, you just keep picking up bananas in a row, and it leads you to new areas that you have to visit anyway. I was hoping that Funky Kong would be over here, but it looks like that's not happening. So I want to see what Tiny's minigame is, because there's a bonus barrel across the way, and of course you need to hover to get across, naturally, so... Wish me luck! Well, it looks like I made it. What horrors await us in here? And is this something I can do real quick and not fail a bunch of times on? Okay, good, it's teetering turtle trouble, so here we go! We've done this many times before. Yeah, we want to just go on across the top, and then across the bottom. That's the winning strategy in all of them. This minigame is like the most uninteresting thing ever, but I'm not complaining, because it sure beats having a challenge in some cases. Because some of these challenges are ridiculous, like that freaking rabbit on Fungi Forest, that is literally impossible. Without being tricky like I had to do. I don't know how people normally beat that rabbit, because not everyone is going to figure out that trick. That really bugs me. I'd like a remastered Donkey Kong 64 where everything is actually beatable, thank you very much. That would be fantastic if you could remaster Donkey Kong 64 and re-release it with higher, higher polygon models and better graphics on the Wii U or something, or Nintendo NX, or whatever your next console is. Don't even know anymore. With all these stupid code names for their consoles, it's so confusing. There we go! <laughs> they just keep increasing the time limit every time you play this game. You have to do the same thing for even longer. Good lord. That was a bit of a time waster, not gonna lie, the mini game just wasted my time. Can I get back across, though? Okay, I mean, grabbing the edge is not completely unacceptable. So there's more green bananas, which I'm gonna collect real quick before we end here. We're hitting 26 minutes now, so that is a bit extreme. 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, it's a nice even... A uh, five kind of number. So now I'm outside by the one warp now, and I never found Funky Kong. I still have a feeling that he's supposed to be in this area, though, so I might try going through that other door. I've got to find Funky Kong, man, at some point. Because I know he's got something for us. And you know, if I can't find him in this level, I can go visit him in a past level, and it will have the same effect. He'll give us his upgrades. But man, if he isn't difficult to find... Okay, I'm going to go this way. This feels like it's the area where Funky Kong would be. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Well, he's not around here. I don't know what to make of this. I don't remember this level as, as, as well as I thought. Anyway, it's break time, so next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong 64, we continue playing Donkey Kong 64. Duh! Anyway, I'm the Sporkinator, thank you for watching, and may we meet again in the future.